Who was Jesus praying to if Jesus is God? The Bible tells us in Luke chapter 6 verse 12, Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. So a common question that keeps popping up repeatedly, if Jesus is God, who was Jesus praying to? If Jesus is God, how can Jesus go out to the mountainside to pray to God? And that's what I'm going to clarify in this video. So I want you to <clears throat> imagine this bottle. Imagine taking this bottle, it's an empty bottle. Imagine taking this bottle to the ocean and you fill it up with ocean water. So when this empty bottle was filled up with ocean water, the only thing that's in this bottle is ocean water, nothing but ocean water. It's not all the ocean because there is no container, there is no vessel big enough to contain the whole ocean. So it's not all of the ocean, but it's part of the ocean. But guess what? It's still ocean. It's still nothing but ocean in that water. So the water, it, the bottle is filled with nothing but ocean water. Now, I want you to imagine that this bottle is now Jesus Christ. This bottle is now Jesus Christ. It's an empty bottle and it's taken to the ocean, which is God. So the bottle is now Jesus Christ and the ocean is God. It's taken to the ocean to be filled with ocean water. So Jesus is taken to God to be filled completely with God. So in Jesus now is nothing but God. There is nothing in, there's nothing else in Jesus but God. Now, it's not all of God. For no vessel, no human body can be big enough to contain all of God. It's not all of God in Jesus, but it's a part of God in Jesus. So everything in Jesus is God. There's nothing other than God in Jesus. What you see in Jesus is still God. So Jesus was, this is how Jesus was fully man and fully God. It's Jesus. It's God in the form of a physical body, but it's still fully God. Jesus is God in the flesh. It's not all that God is because God can't be limited into one body. Jesus is God in flesh, but it's not all of God. Jesus, God the Son, when he would go to the mountainside and pray, he would pray to God the Father, the part of him that is still in heaven. All right? Jesus was praying to the part of him that was still in, in heaven. So although Jesus came to the earth, in the, although God came to the earth in the form of Jesus, although God came to the earth in the form of a physical body, he never, ever, ever left heaven to begin with. And this is what makes Jesus fully man and fully God. You may say, why did God come as his own son? Why didn't he just come as God? The answer is this. When you go to a training to learn how to become a teacher, you have to be taught by a teacher. When you go to a mechanic to learn how to become a car mechanic, you have to be taught by a car mechanic. If you go to a school to learn how to become a politician, you have to be taught by a politician, somebody who is qualified in that field. So if we, if we need to learn how to become a child of God and walk like a child of God, we have to be taught by a child of God. And this is why God came in the form of a child of God. And this is why God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are all God. They are all one. And this is why God chose to come in the form 
of a son of a child of God to teach you who are a child of God how to walk as a child of God right so with that being said anointing oil can be found below my book spiritual warfare who is God a new age occult to Jesus Christ and worldly life of deception can all be purchased on Amazon or just use the link below now if you need deliverance or healing message me on social media God bless you and may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always amen